I'm so glad you could come. And you are? I'm a friend of Kathy's. Uh, shall we make ourselves a bit more comfortable? Could we have tea for three, by any chance, and perhaps some sandwiches? Yes, sir. Anyone hungry? I see. Um, then let's just have the tea. Sit down. Well, then, here we are. I want you to know how much I appreciate your agreeing to meet me like this. I realize it can't have been an easy decision. But I think once we've had a chat, you'll be glad you did make that decision. I hope you're right. Things change, Miss. Life isn't static. I've changed, for one thing. I'd rather imagine that your husband would be with you. I haven't got a husband. They're divorced. I'm very sorry to hear that. Shall I leave it here? Yeah, yes, thank you. We'll help ourselves. You don't have to go through with this, you know. Yeah, I know. Shall I pour? Dad, is this really such a good idea? I mean, what if you lose your temper? Look, I've told you what I'm gonna do. What's up with you? Don't you trust me? Well... Pull over, Frank. I said pull over! All right, all right! <sighs> right. If you want help, now's your chance. I didn't say that. What is it with you, then? Do you want that character living back on the manor? Of course not. Why do you think I had those legal papers drawn up? But, but it's you. Oh, I get it. You think I'm going to be like one of those old East End villains, eh? Steam in there with a baseball bat in one hand and a bottle of acid in the other? Exactly, Dad. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Well, go home, then. You haven't got to do anything you don't want to. But just make up your mind what it's going to be. Right, let's go, Frank. What are you doing back at this time of the day? Oh, I'm coming for another woolly. It's freezing out there. The ground is like concrete. Oof. I'm going to have to borrow a pickaxe. Oh, getting a bit much for you, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could say. Well, why don't I help you then? I know, you're busy, aren't you? No, Dad, I only came back yet, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but you know. But I could drive it where you're going, before the light goes. You're forgetting I can drive myself now. Oh. So I'm redundant, am I? No, 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 it's not. Of course it's not, no. It's just not enough for both of us to do things out there, you know. Well, there's no point both of us freezing to death, is there? But you, you carry on with what you're doing. I wanted you to know before anyone else that I was moving back to the area. I thought it only fair, in case the idea was upsetting to you. I think I told you my father died while I was in prison, didn't I? On the um, uh, tape I sent you. Well, that put a lot into perspective. Uh, the death of a parent does, I gather. I still feel guilty about him. I feel it might not have happened if... Uh... But then that's not your problem, is it? I have changed. Believe me. Now, I know that doesn't alter what happened. I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses. What I did was insensitive. But I assure you, no malice was intended. Unfortunately, it's uh, rather hard to undo these muddles, isn't it? And um, I'm sorry about that, because I've always genuinely liked you. Bad habit I picked up in prison, I'm afraid. Come on, 
Vaughan. You've been there by now, didn't you listen to me? Yeah, yeah, all right, Noel. Vaughan, come on, get a move on. Sorry, Pete, you know how it is. Yeah. Go on. I've paid the penalty, Cathy. I've done my time. Now all I'm asking is to be a part of society again. To live a normal life. To run my business and to have a home where I can see my children. Is that so unreasonable? Cathy, is it? Probably it isn't. Can I ask you something? Of course. Why in Walford? Why not? No, I'm sorry, that just won't do. It's a fair question, you know. Of course. I like Walford. I've always liked that house, and now I have a chance of buying it back. Oh. So this is all about property, is it? Yes and no. Meaning? I think that the only way to sort out unresolved business from the past is to confront the matter head on and not run away from it. Cathy, one has to face up to things, don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I knew you would. This is the only way forward for us both, Cathy. <laughs> a small step for mankind, but a giant one for James Wilmot Brown and Cathy Beale, eh? I'm sorry, my misplaced sense of humor. Would you like some more tea? Very well, then. No tea. Well, then. What do you think? Can we let bygones be bygones? You just haven't got a clue, have you? I beg your pardon? You just haven't got a clue. Let bygones be bygones. Yeah, you, you want me to say that it's, it's all okay, didn't you? You never meant any harm. You probably thought I meant yes when I said no, right? I mean, it's not as if she was a virgin anyway. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Not a thought about what I suffered. Well, I've suffered too. I've changed. Oh, yeah. You've been in prison. But now you're out. Buying flats, buying businesses, walking around London like nothing ever happened. Whereas for me, there's no release date. Ever. Don't you remember? You forced me. You forced me to have sex with you. You made me feel sick and scared and dirty. And I'm trying to tell you I'm sorry. And that things are different now. I wanted to talk to you about my coming back because I've always liked you and I've regretted how things turned out. You liked me? Oh, you liked me? Well, what happened that night had nothing to do with you liking me. When you put your hands around my throat and forced yourself on me, what you was giving out was pure hate. And you're upset. Perhaps we should... So right that. I'm upset. Because of what you did, my, my life fell apart, my marriage broke up. I'm scared to walk down the street at night. Didn't you get some sort of counselling? Don't you bloody talk to me about counselling! <sighs> you wanted to know if I found the idea of you moving back to Walford upsetting? Yes. And that if I said I did, you'd move elsewhere. That's what you said, innit? Yes. But what do you think? I see. So do you agree to go elsewhere, then? I'm sorry, I... I think I must have misjudged the situation. You did that once before, didn't you? Okay. 
You're all right. You're all right now. <laughs> Hello, love. What are you doing here? You haven't seen Rachel anywhere, have you? Well, she's at work, isn't she? No, she had the afternoon off. Well, perhaps she went shopping. Yeah. It's getting like the Bermuda Triangle round here. How do you mean? People disappearing all over the place. Well, like who? Well, I was looking for Pete earlier and his stall's all closed up. And Big Ron's disappeared. Oh, Mum, they haven't, have they? Look, don't worry, Sha. You did the right thing telling Pete where Wilmot Brown is. I wonder if Cathy will see it as the right thing. Well, she doesn't have to know, does she? Do you want a cup of tea? 